In this video, you will be learning about using search engines and how to navigate to websites in Chrome. You will also learn how to use tabs, access your browsing history and view your downloads. This video is for beginners. Hi everyone, we are OneConnect, a social enterprise based in Glasgow, which aims to empower individuals by increasing technology and digital participation. All profits from our organisation go towards running our free IT classes and befriending events in the community. Subscribe to our channel to get notified when we release more helpful videos. There is a lot of information on the internet. With billions of websites online, it is not easy to make an efficient search. Search engines can make it easier to find what you are looking for. Let's look at the basics of using a search engine, as well as some techniques you can use to get better search results. So where do you even start when it comes to searching the web? There are many different search engines that you can use, but some of the most popular are Google, Yahoo and Bing. To perform a search, you'll need to navigate to a search engine in your web browser, type one or more keywords, also known as search terms, then with this information, press enter on your keyboard. In this example, we'll search for recipes. After you run your search, you'll see a list of relevant websites that match your search terms. These are commonly known as the search results. If you see a site that looks interesting, you can click on this to open it. If the site doesn't have what you need, you can simply return to the results page to find more options. Most browsers actually allow you to perform a web search directly from your address bar, although some have a separate search bar next to the address bar. Simply type in your search terms and press enter to run this search. Search suggestions are another element of search engines that may be helpful. If you don't find what you were looking for on the first try, don't worry. Search engines are good at finding things online, but they're not always perfect. You'll often need to try different search terms to find what you are looking for. If you're having trouble thinking of new search terms, you can use search suggestions instead. These will usually appear as you're typing, and they're a great way to find new keywords you might not have tried otherwise. To use a search suggestion, you can click on it with your mouse or select it with the arrow keys on your keyboard. Sometimes you might have to refine your search. If you're still having trouble finding exactly what you need, you can use some special characters to help refine your search. For example, if you want to exclude a word from a search, you can type a hyphen at the beginning of this word. So if you wanted to find a cookie recipe that doesn't include chocolate, you could search for cookie recipe hyphen chocolate. You can also search for exact words or phrases to narrow down your results even more. All you need to do is place quotation marks around the desired search terms. For example, if you search for recipes, sugar cookies, in quotations, your search results will only include recipes for sugar cookies, instead of any cookies that happen to use sugar as an ingredient. These techniques may come in handy in certain cases, but you probably won't need to use them with most searches. Search engines can usually figure out what you're looking for without these extra characters. We recommend trying a few different search suggestions before using this method. Now, let's look at content-specific searches. There may be times when you're looking for something more specific, like a news article, picture or video. Most search engines have links at the top of the page that allow you to perform these unique searches. In the example below, we've used the same search terms to look for images instead of websites. If you see an image you like, you can click to visit the website it originally came from. You can use the extra search tools to narrow down your results even more. These tools will change based on the type of content you're looking for. But in this example, we can filter our images by size, color, image type and more. So if you wanted to find cookies with pink frosting, you could search for images that are mostly pink. Another element of search engines is advertisements. Most search engines include advertisements with the search results. For example, you can see advertisements at the top of the search results below. These ads are based on your search terms and they often look similar to other search results. 
While they may be useful in some cases, it's usually more helpful to focus on the actual search results. So now that you've learned about the topic of using search engines, why not check out our other videos to learn more? You can build on this foundation and learn how to browse the web safely and do whatever it is that you want with your computer and the internet. If you like this video, please leave a comment below and don't forget to share, subscribe and check out our links below for more help and guidance. See the description below for how you can help to support our cause.